Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I wanted to come and do this follow-up video for this fella right here. I don't know how to pronounce your name and I don't want to mess it up. So this is mainly for you. <laughs> um, so I just posted my video, What Does Her Nagging Really Mean? And a gentleman basically went ham. Uh, actually, two of them. Let's say two of them. But the first one, he just basically said he doesn't care what it means. He just wants us to stop. Okay. The second one basically gave me a long dissertation <laughs> to let me know uh, that it's annoying. And if she can't, basically, if she can't get it to uh, get it together and communicate well, then uh, she don't need to be in a relationship or just stuff like that. So instead of me going back and forth with you on the video, mister, I will make a video response to your shenanigans <laughs> uh, because you are not, or well, let's say you two, are not the only two men who didn't hear what I actually was saying. You heard what you wanted to hear. So I never once said that nagging was the way to communicate. I never once said that you should be nagging. It's not what the video was about. The video was to get my brothers to understand why and what it means when she's nagging. That's what the video was about, simply. So, I'm going to do this follow-up video and let you know what I actually think about nagging. I actually don't like it. I actually don't do it. It doesn't serve any real purpose in your relationship at all. So now that I've said that, I'm going to give my sisters a few other reasons why they really should cut the nagging out because it doesn't help. He, um, uh, Mr. O, that's what I'm calling you, Mr. O, just because I don't want to mess up your name, uh, made it a point to say that she needs to be compassionate and caring. And she does. We do as women. But y'all do as men too. <laughs> okay, so let me just go ahead and say that women, you really should stop the nagging because number one, it pushes him away. Plain and simple, don't need to discuss that any further. It pushes him away. Number two, he actually shuts down when you start the nagging because he's taking in too much information and he is becoming overwhelmed with your information. And not only is he becoming overwhelmed with your information, he's coming overwhelmed with the way that you are coming at him. Your delivery sucks, basically. You have not found a way to really speak his language, but nagging is definitely not speaking his language. And again, he's shutting down. Number three, at some point, you end up talking to yourself. What does that mean? It means that he shuts down. He's no longer really listening to you. He's not receiving the message or the information that you want him to receive. He ain't listening no more because he really don't care. Again, your delivery sucks. Ladies, I just got to keep it honest with you. Um, I love you. And the purpose of all of my videos is to go deeper, get to the issues at hand, and stop playing this surface stuff because... Our relationships are not getting any healthier if we continue to stay at surface level. You have to go deeper. Okay, so he's no longer listening. He's not even taking in the message that you're trying to uh, get him to receive. The next thing. <laughs> Ladies, he really just wants you to shut your dog on mouth after a while. Because I know for me, and I'm, I learned not to do this in my relationship, though. However, it's happened. And, and what am I getting at? Sometimes we just start, can't shut up. We just can't shut up. And we just going, 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 going. I get it. Thousand percent get it. But you have to learn how to communicate better. And take in the fact that men are actually... Um, they more di direct creatures. And if you just go to him directly and say what it is that you want or need and not beat around the bush, because again, we communicate differently. Women, we can hint with other women and we take in the information. I already know what you're trying to say because I'm a woman. But men, most of the time, don't pick up on the same um, 
tips and tidbits of information like we do as women. So if you be more di direct with him on um, how said issue is um, making you feel, it'll make you feel a lot better that you got it off your chest. It'll make him feel a lot better and be able to receive the information because you are now speaking his language. And you are being respectful toward him. You are not name calling. You are not uh, continuously nagging. And you are um, being, as, as Mr. O put it, compassionate. <laughs> yes, you should be being compassionate. You should be uh, making sure that the relationship is running smoothly. And not just her. Please understand, fellas, not just her. It's a couple thing. The two people that's in the relationship should be willing to make sure that the relationship is running smoothly. So he probably just wants your butt to shut up. Let me go on back and uh, finish up this video. The very last thing is, I've seen this in a movie and um, the things that we see in movies really does have relevance to it at times. And so what I've seen in the movie is that, and I'm thinking that it was um, Chris Rock uh, I think I love my wife. I'm pretty sure it was him, but if I'm wrong, it's not a big deal. I know I've seen it in the movie. The point is, he was sitting in his car, and he was dreading going into the house. He was dreading going into the house, and mainly because his wife was a big old nag. <laughs> I bring that up because my final point is, he will find reasons not to come home, or he'll find reasons to stay away from you longer than he once did because every time he comes to the door he can't even relax the very first thing that you're doing is you down his throat about something that he's not doing or he should be doing blah 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 here's a tidbit of information that i want to give my ladies just in case um i want you to understand that sometimes when you get home because you dealt with a long day and whatever the day has brought you you want to decompress. And I know that men actually can, not can, men want to do this a lot more than it seems that women do. Like, don't get me wrong. Women, we want to de decompress too. But we actually want to see our men and we don't really care what's happened throughout the day. We want to see them and love them and kiss them and blah, blah, blah. But, when, uh, but men, most of the time, need to get to the door, get through the door, decompress, However long it takes him to decompress, maybe it's 30 minutes, maybe it's an hour. The point of me bringing that up is give him a chance to get in the house and get settled before you start bringing up what he needs to do, how he needs to do it, how come he didn't do it, so on and so forth. That's all I'm saying is give him a chance to get there, relax. And y'all, maybe you guys have not been eating dinner together for whatever reason. You guys can actually eat dinner together and just have a conversation about the things that you need to talk about whether it's his day her day um uh just making sure that everything is smooth sailing and then you can bring up some of those issues but timing really is everything timing is everything so if you don't want him to find reasons not to come home to you or to stay away from you longer all that that's just my suggestion just scale it back and give him a chance to decompress and you actually will be able to calm down so you can deliver the message in a respectful manner, in a compassionate manner. All right. So take these uh, points in as I definitely say and want you to realize that you have to not only know the information, you have to apply the information. It's not just knowledge is power. It's applied knowledge is power. I want to continue to help with our relationships and making them healthy and um, happy and definitely take in my thought-provoking content. If you like this, make sure that you um, give me a thumbs up. It helps me out lots. And make sure that you comment, especially you, Mr. O. Especially you, Mr. O. Make sure that you comment to make sure that you actually heard this and received this information. Because I never once said the nagging was the way to go.
Never once did I ever say that. As a matter of fact, I will link the other video right here, um, the one uh, that, that he got a little testy off of. I will make sure I put that link right here. And then I also will put it in the description box below. Thank you guys for listening. See you in the next video. Two Finger Salute.